Oh, uh, Gary, the, the, the cool one is next. 3007? Yep, also known as, as the World of Two Artists. But they also nicknamed it as He Comes For Us. With an earth emoji. Anyway. Oh, it's your turn to read it. So that's a very long file. I mean, it's not the longest, but I'm not sure what to call that file. Yeah. I said, oh. <clears throat> SCP 3007. Warning The following document is classified as a level VI info hazard. Unauthorized access for result and termination through Medicare agent. Proceed at your own risk. The Medicare agent activated. Continue life signs confirmed. Retrieving file. Item SCP 3007. Object class Keter. Special containment procedures. Hospitals and media worldwide are to be monitored for the appearance of 3007-1. Uh, All individuals confirmed as 3007-2 are to be terminated immediately. Unaffected civilians who have, who have acquired knowledge of dash 3 are to be administered class A amnestics. Personnel demonstrating reluctance or non cooperation in any enactment of the above procedures are to be anesthetized and transferred immediately. As containment breach of 3007 will result in an XK class end of the world scenario. Oh. Description SCP is 3007 1 is a reoccurring hostogenic phenomenon with no apparent pattern regarding age, gender, race, health, or occupation. Dash 1 affects approximately redacted individuals. Designated as Dash 2. At any given time worldwide, the new instance is constantly emerging despite the Foundation's efforts at elimination. Currently, no new method other than death has been, been, been proven effective in the prevention or discontinuation of Dash 1. Dash 1 occurs on a seemingly random basis for an average of four times per day for each student. The duration is typically between 50 to 80 minutes. Affected subjects claim to be transported to a location. Designated 3007-3, this nation of Dash 3 is largely identical among subjects, but does not resemble any known place on Earth. Although Dash 1 often occurs in multiple subjects simultaneously, there are no confirmed cases of subjects meeting within Dash 3. While experiencing Dash 1, subjects are fully capable of physical movement, but report that they can only perceive reality through hearing and touch. As a result, subjects are capable of navigating Dash 3 while also maintaining communication with unaffected individuals. The sensations of sight, smell, and taste within Dash 3 are reported indistinguishable from reality. Any trauma or injury obtained within the context of Dash 1 will also manifest on subjects into reality. To date, there have been redacted subjects who died from high-altitude impact presumably due to actions taken while experiencing Dash 1. In addition, sound originating from within Dash 3 can be clearly perceived in reality within a 2-meter radius of Dash 2. These two attributes provide some evidence as to Dash 3's existence. Addendum 1 
Interview Log 3007-2C. The first recorded account of Dash 3. Interview Log 3007-2C. Interviewed. 3007-2C. A 6-year-old retired female from South Korea. Doctor. Interviewer. Doctor. Redacted. Date. December 7th, 20 Redacted. Forward. Dialogue has been translated from Korean. Subject was among the first SCP-3007-2 to be discovered and at the time the only mentally sound subject. Begin transcript. Doctor redacted. Good morning, Miss Redacted. How are you feeling? SCP-3007-2C Not well, I'm afraid. I have trouble sleeping. Examinations indicate that you are good in good health. So this, this is caused by your condition. Condition? Oh, you mean the visions? Yes, I keep thinking about that place. Place? Mm -hmm. Subject nods. Uh, uh, wait, oh god. Uh, yes, yeah. the times before it was blurry like a dream, I remember just enough to tell that it was the same place. This time though, it was diff different. I could see the landscape in perfect clarity. Please describe the location in detail. It was sound utter utterly unbelievable, but please believe me. After the division started, I appeared in a narrow suspension bridge of sorts. It was day, but the sunlight seemed weak, as if it was obscured by smoke. There was a horrible stench in the air, reminds me of garbage and rotten meat. Three zero zero seven two C begins to gag. Are you all right? Yes, it's just that it brings back so many memories. Sorry, I'll keep going. I could see quite far because of the height, and all around me there was the ruins of a city. Oh, I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, the buildings are different from anything that I've ever seen before. More like giant trees and skyscrapers. They were so tall that I had to crane my neck to see the needle-thin top. Some stood straight, but most have fallen or have been reduced to rubble. When a dizziness finally stopped, I went to the side of the bridge and looked down. The ground was out of sight, like the city continued forever into the darkness. I had to step away before I threw up or lost my footing. Thousands of bridges like the other one that I stood on seemed to be the only links between the buildings. However, many of them were broken as well. All the structures were made from a smooth metallic material. But rather than being shiny, it was white as bone. What you I put to the skull and living creatures among the ruins? No, I didn't see a single animal or person moving around. There were no plants either. You think there would be think that abandoned building would would be overrun with them? The whole place was dead and barren. I see. Without any other notable features. Subject shifts visibly uncomfortable. There was a tall black pillar in the distance. It was thicker and stood out from all the other buildings. So I grew curious and started walking towards it. I could have gotten there, but things appeared in my path. Lying on the ground, there were... Doctor, do I have to continue? I don't want to remember it. Please, can we just stop? I understand that you're upset, but please don't... Such a covers her mouth with one hand, beginning to cry. I'm sorry, it just startled me, that's all. The corpse is... They were scattered everywhere. They seemed dried up and mummified. So they must have died long ago. I thought they belonged to different animals at first. But I dared to look closer. They might have been people, but their bodies were wrong, twisted. There was a man, I think, who 
His bones bulged in parts and erupted out of his skin like extra limbs. He had his arms raised, probably clawing at those things when he died. A child was next to him. It must have been a child. Its head was melted like wax. It was the same height as my grandson. Oh, God. Some of them were joined together, pressed into the clubs. Oh, God, please. Yeah, no, no. Rambling of this nature continues for several minute, more minutes. 3007-2C. Descends into the state of hysteria and refuses to, to offer further instructions. Uh, further description. Persuasion is unsuccessful and the subject is deemed unsound for continued interviewed. Thank you. That'd be all for today. Wait, what? Yeah. Yep. End log. Closing statement. The level of destruction observed in the psychological effect on the subject is, is concerning. Future investigations will be concentrated on obtaining information regarding its location and its correlation to 3007-1. That at, at Decker redacted. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to get something from my throat. Okay. All right, I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. Addendum 2. The presence of a large pillar is consistent among the reports from 3007-2 per subjects. The object is visible to the starting point within dash 3 and appears prominent among the other structures in the city. Due to its potential significance, Dr. Redacted, the lead researcher on 3007, strongly advocates its exploration. Exploration log 3007-GV Subject SCP-3007-2GV Formerly known as Redacted Subject is a 23-year-old Australian male Formerly an illustrator Subject is notably notable for possessing an exceptional memory Supervisor personnel Dr. Redacted Equipment None National notes. Redacted exploration attempts have been conducted previously but were largely unsuccess unsuccessful due to the non cooperation of subjects. 3007 2GV volunteered, expressing great desire in assisting the understanding and treatment of 3007 1. Begin log from 8 30 on July 14th, 20 redacted. SCP-3007-2GV Dr. Zostar, I'm sitting now. Dr. Redacted, could you see the pillar of the structure? Yeah, it's not far. I think I can get down in an hour. There are no problems. Police proceeds are planned. Alright. Oh god, this is confusing. Irregular footsteps on metal are heard, echoing somewhat. Uh, almost fell off. We're not feeling anything in here. Oh, uh, okay, I think I'm good now. Footsteps resume, now noticeably steadier. Subject occasionally slows, like avoiding obstacles on the ground. Please discard your surroundings and notify, notify us of any deviations from your previous observations. The parts of the stuff I've seen before. The buildings are kilometers high. I'm pretty sure they made out of metal. Like the surface, I'm walking on what on right now. We're just everywhere. Fist crossing a joint like spider clouds. 
they're mostly intact, so I can go on from one to another as long as I'm careful. As for the tan, the lightning, lightning is pretty good, so there it's it's a little more. There's a faint crunching noise followed by the subject cursing. Damn! Snapped on his leg. Oh, got smell. Thought I'd gotten used to it. Footsteps resume, but the subject's breathing is heavy. There are more of the of those things littered around, but judging from the stink, it's a lot worse inside the buildings. I prefer not to go in there. You just stay out and op open it. Is that all right? That's fine. Continue. Subject presses for 15 minutes without much event. During this time, the subject reports consistent of observational damage done to the structures. All accounts are consistent with the ones given by previous subjects. I'm getting closer. But there are more weird things around here. There's a fight of Jeff yeah, with six wings. That's crashing the building beneath me. Been hanging there for a while. I can see the pilot in the cockpit. Fuck. He he spit down the medicine one hanging out of of each side. My God, this place is seriously messed up. What the any other what the fucks? Yeah, they're all around and in grissom. I don't think you've told me about this before, Doctor. No, you're only... only subject to venture to find out the other such an occurrence. Okay, guess I should watch out. Don't know what this place is gonna throw him in next. Oh, and... And it smells getting a bit stronger. It's making me a bit sick. Interesting. There's some your called splits. If you if you say so. Such so continues to report instances of damaged artifacts around to over identical ones with observational range. 20 minutes later, the subject's footsteps begin to slow. I don't know, I'm looking up at the pillow now. It's much larger than I thought. It's like a cylinder. Around 40 meters thick, maybe more. It's like the only other unusual features. Um, I can see what's got, got some colorful patches on it, probably. Decoloration. There's some stairs wrapped around and leading to the tab. Smells little bad. What's wrong? The corpse is whole goddamn crowd of them. They've gathered around the bottom and squished together. I can't even count how many there are. Jesus Christ. Please. Please run away and call me and assess the level of observation. Will you teach me the suitcase? Wait, are you are you saying that I should go through them? I'm not gonna do it, no way. Please continue. You have volunteered, haven't you? I didn't know I'd be I would be dealing with this. That is the pur purpose of this explanation, Mr. Duck. Currently, will you work sufficient information to cut in this, these hallucinations. And it would require your cooperation. You can help us find a treatment for your condition, and we never have to visit to the space again. You can help us find the treatment for your condition, and never have to visit the space again. SCP-3007-2GV is silent for almost one minute. 
bad I tried just, just, just as long. This is sad. Soldier's breathing becomes labored and footsteps increase in frequency, muffled with crunching sounds I heard, along with subjects swearing and occasional stumbling after three minutes. These noises diminish and there's a series of rapid taps followed by a heavy thump. Such it begins to gasp nightly. Jesus, never me again. Never again. But there are momentarily scraping noises followed by a few slow steps. Miss, Miss Rodak, we don't know when the icons will end. Remember your little what? F. Fuck, I lost my place for a moment. <laughs> God damn it! Oh! Oh, that's not good! Anyway, his refusal says, We don't know what the recruits will do, and so please refrain from delaying an assault. Alright, I was going to. The further away from those things, the better. Dak, those baddies. They're pressed together like they're climbing over each other to get to his pillar. And, and some of them, the ones that have heads, are all facing up like they start staring straight at me. Or was on top of this thing. Fuck. It's freaky. I think I'm. Gonna get going now. Tapping sounds restarts. Such a remains silent for several minutes. Gradually, a faint rushing sound emerges, presumably wind from an increased altitude. Doc, this place is making me feel uneasy. Considering what you have seen, this is understandable. No, Doctor, you don't understand. It's not just the corpses and buildings. This place isn't normal. What happened here wasn't normal. I first thought that there was some kind of natural disaster. Like an earthquake or meteor rain. Thought that was how the city got destroyed. But now that I'm up high, the whole place looks... wrong. I think you are some that. Well, from up here, I've been noticing something unusual about the buildings. They're, they've not just been reduced, the rumble are blown down. Some of them have been curled and cut into sections or even squashed into pots. Like clay, and it's more like they've been deformed, like they're wise that a kid took and bent the weird ships. When it becomes more audible as the subject ascends, I think it's the same with the jets and even the bodies. Most of these corpses had human features, like they used to be people. I don't think I wouldn't do that, it doesn't make sense. Whatever happened here, it just does, it didn't just destroy, it played with its place. Understood. Please go proceed. The wind gradually increases in volume. For this pause, I've got a I've got a Come across the first bit now. It's now and taller than I am. I can spot a few more around this pillar, right next to the stairs. It's like the whole thing then showed it. What does it depict? I think it might be telling some kind of story. There's a group of people and all the random objects. They're smiling, but the other than that, their faces are blank. And those are a, a, a strange blue creature, but that just might be an exaggerated person. The lines on the background look like the buildings in the city. I gotta be sure through the lines, it's surreal and hard to describe. It's completely different from what I'm used to, but I can't try drawing it. Yes, that is what that will certainly be helpful. Okay, I'll say what I can memorize if, if I can memorize the others too.
Let's just restart and continue for five minutes. I wanted the second one. Even more confusing than the first one, but I can make out some aircrafts. Six wings like the ones I found a while ago. No report for five minutes. Durations imply that the paintings are evenly spaced along the pillar. See, it's that this one's fucked up. It's got some of those coarse creatures in it. But they look like they're, they're still alive. Yeah, I can almost spell them again. You might have just picked out your imagination. You have been disoriented and put under stress for the last 15 minutes, so it's probably no one to confuse illusions with the reality. I don't know what's real anymore. Five minute duration. Now that stints again. It's gotten away from the baddies, but it's not faded. Actually, it's getting closer. Please for the main calm, Dr. Uh, Mr. Rodacted. You are perfectly safe. I just show you. Five minute duration. This one, it shows the people having lines coming up out of the planes and they're sort of like to the pillar. You think one of them might be me? This is an interesting office of virtual. Yeah. Yeah, I think it might have figured out what this is all about. God, I can't take it anymore. For the next five minutes, the subject mumbles incoherently under his breath while ascending. I've almost reached the... I've almost reached the end now, and the smell's getting really strong, Doc. I don't know what's there, and I'm not sure if I want to find it. Mr. Rockducted, please continue from this far. Doc, Doc, that I, yeah, I suppose you like. Better see it through. The wind is loud now, almost muffling the subject's footfalls as he steps into a different surface. Subject suddenly yells incoherently. There's a dull thud followed by shuffling noises. Oh my, oh my god, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Crying is audible. What the do do sleep? I don't fucking know. It's dried and like all the other ones I've studied, but it's huge. It's got a face ten times bigger than mine and the body. Oh god, so many arms. That's missing chunks of its curve. Mr. Rodacted, please don't panic. It's dead, isn't it? It's not pose any danger to you. No, Doctor, it's not just a quote. It's a painting and it's an iron The final one. I don't think it's finished, but I can tell. Oh, God, why is that here? There. It's a fucking... Redacted. Are you sure? Of course not I am. Anyone would have. Sir stops abruptly and after momentarily confusion, reports that Dash 1 has ended. Although in an emotionally unstable state, Sir says that he is able to recall the images with great clarity. End log. 941 to... To... Um, July 14th, 20 redacted. Closing statement. Provided that 3007-2GV's account is reliable. I believe that we will be able to obtain information regarding dash 3 the images he creates. Doctor redacted. Addendum 3. September 25th, 20 redacted. Graphic production, reproduction of paintings on the surface of the pillar by 3007-2GV. The images were shown to other subjects involved in later expeditions who confirmed that they were highly ac accurate in terms of resemblance to the original artworks. And here's the art. I think I'll go slowly with it.
Right here, this reminds me of Flesh That Hates. I really like the art. It's very beautiful, but also very dark. Yep. And then number four. December 27th, 20 redacted. Attention 3007-B. Reproduction on the final painting located on the top of the pillar. 3007-2 level clearance required. Input credentials. Well, from the looks of where it's it's a uh, where it's attaching, it looks like it's probably in Africa somewhere. Well, we don't know that for sure. Yeah. All right, time to judge the thumbnail. Oh no, you're gonna hate this. What, what's the thumbnail? They sexualized it. What? Uh, it look uh, it literally looks like it's having a period. I don't think they're sexualizing it, but it doesn't make it better. They've added a weird, obscene amount of violence in that image alone. Yep. Alright. We ready for it? For it? As ready as I'll ever be, I guess. Oh, wait. I want to first see if... Uh... Oh, the creator of the article created the images. That's amazing. Yep, and I and they only gave credit for the article, not the images. Okay. Uh... Alright. And three, two, one. What is this place? Where am I? The man stood in the street, seemingly talking to himself. His eyes were glazed over unnaturally. His arms extended to the sides of him, as if balancing himself on some precarious ledge. Oh God, what is that? He turned his head and pointed into the distance. Yeah. A crowd started to slowly gather around him. Hey, hey, you okay? Who's that? I, I hear you, but I, I, I can't see you. What's, what's going on? You need help? It, it's, it's like a dream, a nightmare, but too real. The wind and the smell, rotting, garbage, and death. Do you need help? I, I can't feel the ground. I can't feel anything. It's slippery. No one is fucking the man's body lifted into the air as he screamed and flailed, feet above what? the ground. He came what? crashing down with a dull thud. It never did His that, body right? broken nope. and bent, as if he'd fallen thousands of feet. Welcome back. On tonight's show, we have Death Knight from Raid Shadow Legends. A big hello from Roadkill. What? This guy looks like Roadkill. Well, not quite. He, he's more like a high altitude impact. He's crushed. Suicide? Doesn't seem to be. Happened in front of a small group of people. Which building? 
that's just it. He was only feet off the ground. Man. He floated feet off the ground as if he was falling, then hit the ground, causing significant trauma. Dead on impact. That's odd. Any strange objects or encounters? From what the bystanders said, he was just walking along and came to a stop. He reported seeing strange things. Like a trance. Except he was able to communicate with the people around him while he was in that dream state. Seems like a pretty cold trail then. Not quite. This isn't the first case we've heard about, and we have statements from a few other people who have experienced similar things. The kicker is, they're still alive. I've picked up the subject. We're on our way back now. So you said this doctor will be able to help me? He's the best. He'll right. be able to get to the bottom of these dreams of yours. Well, all right. I'm ready to try just about anything now. They're terrifying. Good afternoon, Miss Rayleigh. Thank you for coming in. This is a really odd place. It's a hospital, you say? Yes, kind of a special government research hospital. Would you mind standing over there? Kloss and the technician proceeded to place monitoring equipment on the lady. When do the dreams start? It's random, I think, but a few times a day. All right, we'll just wait and see then. An hour passed when Chen noticed the woman's eyes begin to go cloudy. Hey, Doc, take a look. Her blank eyes looked around the room. Miss Rayleigh, are you in the dream world now? Yes, I'm here again. It's oppressive. The air, the buildings, something terrible has happened here. Can you describe what you see? Buildings. Massive metallic skyscrapers reaching kilometers into the sky. They're everywhere. They don't look like any city I've ever heard of. Where are you amongst the buildings? I'm on a platform. A suspension bridge. It's made of metal, too. I can't see clearly, and I can't feel anything. But this bridge is slippery. That's what happened to that guy. He must have slipped and fell off the bridge in his dream. Can you tell me what you see below? I can't see the ground. It goes on forever. These buildings are enormous. Please, Please continue, continue on. Wait, I see something. I'm going to walk towards it. Strange place. It's... it's a body. The smell and it's crushed and broken. What is that? It's huge. I can't go on anymore. Please make it stop. Okay, you can wake up now. It's over. You're safe. It's so horrible. That place. There's something very wrong with it. I understand. Thank you for coming in. You've helped us a lot. I'm going to call another doctor in who will give you something to calm you down. That was pretty creepy. I wonder what it is. We need to find someone who's willing to go in, to go further and explore that tower. One step ahead of you, there's a man in Australia who's volunteered to go further. Great. Let's bring him in. Already on it. What's even better, he's an illustrator with an eidetic memory. Might be able to get some real details. Thank you for coming all this way. No worries. I was kind of find out what all this means. And you guys have been treating me real well. First class flight, five star hotel, fantastic. Glad to hear that. Uh, okay, shall we get started? Let's do it. Time passed slowly but yet nothing was happening. How long does this usually take? Mate, if I knew you think we'd still be waiting around, it's random, but it'll happen. Fair dinkum. What? Ignore him, please. Moments later, the man's eyes began to cloud. Okay, it's starting. I'm on a bridge. Seems metallic. Huge skyscrapers everywhere. Everything seems destroyed and run down. Kind of an end of the world apocalyptic scenario. I can see in the distance, the tower. Right. Is it far? Not too far, no. I reckon I can get there before the dream ends. There are planes too, but they have like six wings. There's a fair few of them. Please, Please proceed. proceed. He walked along the metal pathway. The further he went, the worse the smell was. Oh, it's like decay and rot. Oh, it's awful. Oh, I see why now, bodies. There are bodies everywhere, twisted and bent, split open, crushed. This is horrible, and the smell keeps getting worse. How far is the tower now? 
Not far, but I don't know if I can go any further. Please, just a little further. <sighs> I'll try. Uh. I'm at the tower now, and it's getting worse than before. There's a spiral staircase going up, and I think... Uh, I think there are paintings on the walls. The whole way up is piled with bodies. Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. I understand, but please keep going. That's why you're here. Okay, just one time. I'm at the first painting. Three figures. Two have spears, and it looks like two plants above. They use the art. With those planes I saw earlier. Beneath, yep. some sort of people. They look happy, I guess. Doing ordinary kind of stuff. Beneath them is some large blue figure. Like a goddess. Mother Nature? Understood. Please proceed to the next one. The sky is now red. And those planes. Are they crashing? Those people look like they're in pain. And these red figures. There are red lines coming from their heads. The smell is getting worse. No more bodies. But the smell is worse. A little further, please. The blue planets. They're now red. And when he's broken, everyone screaming. They're all. Huh? How did they make this SCP boring? I don't know. Red now. Okay. Beneath it, some kind of red monster. At the bottom, that blue goddess protecting a, a priestess. That's very good. How many paintings remain? Just two, I think. Going to the next one. The goddess is protecting the priestess as she takes the children away, I think. They're leaving their home. The red creature is almost at the goddess now. I think they made it, but the goddess is left to fight the red. She, she She's upside down. The red has her now. There's some sort of opening beneath her and the red lines. They're going through it and attaching to more people. Very good. Continue to the last one, please. Oh my god! No! No, it's not possible! It's not possible! Let me out! Let me out! He came to, disorientated and confused. It's okay. You're safe. You're alive. Take him to a room, get him something to calm his nerves. Come take a look at this. They're the drawings of what he experienced in the dream. You see this? They were a happy civilization under the nurture of their goddess. They built planes and explored nearby planets. But what they found was a malevolent god. It came back with them somehow. It poisoned, tortured, and killed everyone. The goddess tried to save them, so she protected and sent a savior with the children to find a new home. They opened some sort of portal and left the goddess behind on their dying world. She fought the red as best she could, but succumbed to it. It seems like the red found or created another portal to spread its evil. What about the last picture? It's coming through now. Oh, oh my, my, to Chen? Get the amnestics here, stat. You're gonna need to take a shot. What? Why? Just trust me, take the shot. I need to speak to Lucius. Not again. Sir, I need to speak with you urgently. What is it, Kloss? This SCP we've been researching, it's an info hazard. We thought these people were having dreams or were witnessing another dimension. Everything destroyed, a dark tower at the end of it all, some unfathomable red evil came to this place and killed everything including their deity who tried to save them the tower was her message she encrypted paintings on it paintings because text explanations would trigger the info hazard the, the drawings are safe but but this evil entity found a way out a, a portal to earth it's coming spreading through the human minds through dreams who else knows about this just chen and me and chen is being anesthetized as we speak fine fine will this info hazard even affect you i i need you to document this before i anesthetize myself i'll handle it 
But Floss, amnestics don't work very well on you. They don't? No, it's a side effect of the process. Wait, how many times before? Never mind that now. Just come here and take a look at this. What? Kripke, I've got another job for you. SCP-3007, Object Class, Keter. SCP-3007-1 is a reoccurring hallucinogenic phenomenon, with new instances constantly emerging despite the Foundation's efforts at elimination. Currently, no method other than death has been proven effective in the prevention or discontinuation of SCP-3007-1. Dash 2 are individuals experiencing 3007-1. The description of Dash 3 is largely identical among subjects, but does not resemble any known place on Earth. Subjects are fully capable of physical movement, but report that they can only perceive reality through hearing and touch. As a result, subjects are capable of navigating Dash 3, while also maintaining communication with unaffected individuals. Any trauma or injury obtained within the context of Dash 1 will also manifest in subjects in reality. Sound originating from within Dash 3 can clearly be perceived in reality within a two meter radius of Dash 2. A thirst for knowledge is what advances our civilization. Right. But sometimes it can lead us too far. Remember the old saying, curiosity killed the cat. As always, have a care right. and remember to- So class is dead now. Uh, I don't know. Let's just rank this. Rule of characters slash license. They removed license, although it didn't seem like they removed that many characters, but they still removed characters. Is that a three or a four? I guess three. Uh, they kept some. Okay, three. Yeah. That's valid. Also, I think I'll make this the last test to be the night because I'm getting tired. That's valid. Also, violence added, I think, is four. Somehow. Yeah. Alright. Deviates from the plot of the article. Four. Unless you think it's lower. No, I agree. I'm oh. sorry. It was a really cool SCP to read. Yeah, only man in a video slash offensiveness. It's not offensive, but I still don't <laughs> like it. Yeah. Twenty-five percent. <laughs> 